guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to podcast number <laughs> six or seven. <laughs> I didn't actually look beforehand, so that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Um, but today is another podcast. It's a day early. It's Thursday. I didn't do one last week, um, so I thought I'd do one now. Uh, my name's Denise. This is Handmade by Dear Designs. Um, I would like to change that to just Dear Designs, but a lot of places that I am already on, uh, I can't change it just to Dear Designs. <laughs> so, never mind. Uh, you can find all my information. I will put it here or here. I can't remember which way it goes, um, but where you can find me and things. Um, yeah, my name's Denise. If you are new to my channel, thank you for coming to join me. If you are a regular viewer, thank you for coming back. And I thought I would just quickly show you bits and pieces that I've been working on. Uh, there's not terribly a lot, but I thought I'd just show you what I've got. <laughs> um, so I have had my roots done and I have um, had the different colours hopefully um sorted out a little bit uh because there was a lot of banding and my friend Vic she tried to get most of that out which I think she has so what I might do is just put a little bit of purple shampoo on just to get some of the yellow yellowness away um and see how that goes but not leave it on for as long because I did it um and the underneath went really dark it really needs straightening <laughs> but Never mind, uh, I'm going to have a bath and wash it tonight, so. Anyway, let's start off with finished object, objects, because I have two. Uh, the first one is this cardigan that um, I didn't show, I did do a little live last week um, and showed some of the bits and pieces, but, so this is the cardigan that is finished and it's got sort of, um, they're sleeves that sort of go to the crook of your elbow so let's quickly put this on for you just oh, so you can see my arm is still really hurting um, so yeah it just sort of comes to there which is quite a nice length actually and I was thinking of wearing this with a black dress but it hasn't been sunny again <laughs> um, I've just got sort of a jumpsuit trouser jump, jumpsuit on today um, but it's a little bit small and uh, we'll see how it goes but I think just wearing it over even if I wear it indoors just to keep my arms warm then we shall see um, so this is a pattern out of I can't even get it off now um, out of the Doris Chan book everyday crochet um, I got a little bit obsessed with that book <laughs> um, and I used the Aldi or a Aldi cake. Um, I used two Aldi cakes, yes, two, um, to do this. And I know it doesn't really match 100%, but I'm not really bothered about that. It's a really nice colour. And the book is just here. So let me. It's called the Soft Serve. I'll show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> um, that's what it's supposed to look like and it is really nice uh it does sit like sort of flat on the front of me and flat at the back so but i think this would look really nice in a double knit um maybe not a cotton but like a a sort of stiffer yarn so it hangs a little bit more like it's sort of more drapey if that makes sense um i don't know whether that is cotton that they've made it with I might say oh it's bamboo so yeah maybe bamboo would right it just it looks like it just hangs a little bit different so um yeah i really like liked that and I enjoyed doing it and it uh, crocheted up really quickly. Um, whether I'll make any more out of the book, I don't know yet. Um, we shall see. <laughs> uh, my second FO and a, um, is it an acquisition? Something I bought, <laughs> new in, <laughs> is new sock blockers, finally. Uh, so these are my finished socks. 
these I the this yarn is the hand dyed yarn that I the second skein that I did and I have two of them um, I did start blocking them on the wooden blockers and then these came I think it was the same day that I actually soaked and blocked them and I thought well I'm just going to put them on these straight away I have put a little bit of um, cotton on here so I can hang them um, at the window to dry let me just show you one so I have done a 15 row 2x2 two two rib I've done a 70 row um, leg <laughs> I nearly said cuff leg um, and then I've done I think it was 68 rows for my foot then did a square toe to 12 stitches and then I did an afterthought heel which is um, pick up the stitches I knitted four rounds plain then just did a square heel toe to 12 stitches again so the heel and the toe are exactly the same other than I start off with a couple of plain rounds because I have quite a high instep or an arch an ankle whatever um, but I think that these might be a bit tighter than other socks that I've knitted uh, just because I knitted these in a different way <laughs> so I um, I wanted to maybe get a little bit faster at knitting socks so I tried doing the flicking technique instead of the throwing technique um, and I did get it get the hang of it I did do it but I just think that my tension is a bit too tight with the flicking so the more I do it hopefully the more I'll be able to sort of get the hang of the tension and things but we shall see um, I have got another pair on the go so I'll show you those in a second but these are finished socks that haven't got a prompt for this year because I just wanted to see how the yarn comes out and I'm so pleased with how they have come out I think these will look so nice with jeans um, leggings anything because of the amount of colors that are in there I think they will go with anything also I was thinking of doing a contrast heel on these um, and picking out a really dark purple like this I have got sort of this colour purple but then I thought no I'm just gonna do them all one colour <laughs> uh, so yeah that is uh, finished socks um, these will be my 10th pair of no ninth pair of adult socks because um, I've done eight so I have done fib uh, what is wrong with me I have done April no I've done August <laughs> I've done August socks I've now knitted these socks and now I'm on to my September socks already yes we're still in August uh, so as we're talking about socks let me show you uh, this is some more hand dyed yarn that I dyed up um, and this is the color that I dyed for autumn so some burnt oranges and greens and things in there really nice and some reds um, I'm doing two at a time I've done uh, 14 rounds I think of two by two rib and this is if I can sort the needles out and just pull it up a bit this is how the yarn is knitting up so it's going to um, spiral again like the bright orange ones that I've done which are still over there they are blocked they're just in a bowl at the moment with the rest of the socks that I finished recently because uh, I'm not wearing socks not in this weather anyway um, but look how nice this is so pretty uh, so I, I, I didn't know whether to do short socks I didn't know whether to do long socks midi socks and I thought I just knit until I'm a bit bored um, so still haven't really decided um but because the cuff is quite long I don't know whether that will be too long for a shorty sock or <laughs> I can um maybe do 10 rows and then put the heel in so it's sort of like a a tight round the ankle short sock if that makes sense um, I have got a couple of pairs like that and they are quite comfortable I wear sort of um, 
boots with the fur around the top and they're quite low and they are quite comfortable with, with them um, boots. So I might carry on and do that. Um, so yeah, these are my September socks and the prompt is Autumn Leaves. Uh, that is a prompt uh, that I am doing on Instagram. It's a hashtag uh, year of my sock 2020. Um, just go and check out the hashtag. Go and follow the hashtag if you're interested. If you knit socks then just put the hashtag into your title and a winner of a little giveaway will be announced um, at the end of the year you don't have to knit a pair every month or anything you just have to enter a pair into that hashtag and I will put a little something together uh, for a winner so the next thing that I am working on is it's a Jessie made design and it is the summer secret crop um, I am not going to make this into a crop, I'm going to make it into a, uh, I want to say normal, but a longer longer length vest top. Um, the yarn that I'm using, I'll get out the one that I haven't used, the yarn that I'm using is this uh, James C. Brett Driftwood. Oh my god, it's so soft, it's so nice, and it is, it is striping up really nice. So, I've done an hour on this this morning, um, and no, I haven't knitted all this in an hour, uh, but this is what it's coming up like. But look at that, those stripes, how nice is that? That's just going to be so nice in a vest top. This will go with jeans, it will go with white trousers, oh I've got an itchy nose. <laughs> um, it will just go with anything, um, this is just telling me the beginning of round. Um, but I just, I've got five balls of this and I'm, I think that will be enough to do a longer, longer um, top. So I'm going to carry on and get to the desired length that the pattern says, which I think is about 10 inches. Um, might not even be that, I can't remember. But then see how it looks, see how wide it is, because I don't even know if this is going to fit me yet. Um, because I've had to go up a needle size for the... Um, gauge because the gauge that I got from using the needle sizes that she has put in the pattern I was getting so many more stitches I think I was getting like four stitches per uh, four inches so bear in mind I needed a 53 inch um, circumference that would have been so much more smaller than I would have needed. I did also try and work out the pattern to use that um, stitch count. So I worked out how many stitches I had per inch, then worked out how many stitches I would need for 53 inch, and that's not in the pattern. So, <laughs> uh, and I would need like 300 and odd stitches, and I was like, no, this can't be right. So the the stitch count that she, no, the um, the needles that she says to use um, for DK is a three and a half and a four mil you can also use fingering weight for this uh, top and it is um, she uses a 3.5 mil and a 4.5 um, so yeah it also says on the pattern you can um, use fingering weight held single or any yarn weight which you are able to achieve gauge, you may also use DK or fingering weight held double for a less airy fabric. Um, and I think that is what this will be because if, I don't want to lose my stitches. If I <coughs> stretch it out a little bit, let me go to the back here. If I stretch it out a bit, it's sort of, it's not tight and compact. I can imagine this being quite a floaty, top once it's done um so yeah you can see the stitches are quite big and they're not tight um this was a free pattern i don't know whether it's still a free pattern it's on ravelry um under jesse made designs page um but yeah so i had to cast on 222 stitches and if i had 
kept with the original size I would have had to cast on like 300 stitches so it was a little bit ridiculous um <coughs> excuse me I haven't been on film for ages <laughs> and all this talking um so I decided to for the um rib I'm getting all in a pickle now it's all inside out for the rib I used a four mil and for the rest of the body I'm using a 4.5 mil I did have to order some um needles um because the 4.5 needles that I've got were like that big <laughs> they're so small I obviously ordered the wrong ones um so I've ordered some longer um interchangeable needles and I'm just using the knit pro the symphonies i can't remember they're the wooden ones but they're really really smooth really nice and yeah i quite like them i did have the option to get the nova ones which are the metal ones because i have got 3.5 in that size i think maybe a three mil and they're quite nice as well and all the knit pro needles fit on their cables so it's just easier to um get the same and I am adding to my collection of interchangeables so that's all good um, so yeah I hopefully will get a little bit of work done on this over the week um, I did an hour this morning and I thought well if I can do an hour in the morning um, or at some point during the day then this hopefully shouldn't take me too long also this is yarn that I won from Kim and um, it's beautiful it's so nice really really nice that's that that's um that's work in progress so i will put a progress keeper in there so you can see how much i get done next time i podcast the next one is this <laughs> is this sorry <laughs> um yes it's huge but um i have got this much done in two weeks because I didn't I didn't podcast properly last week I just did a live so where the coca-cola bottle is which is in that top row of the grey I've got all that done in a couple of weeks bear in mind it is quite wide um, so and I have also added another ball uh this one doesn't seem as big don't know why it's quite hard so there's a lot of yarn in there i've got this one and i have one more of these to add to this blanket then it will be finished um because i don't think i'll have any more double knit that i will have to add to this if that makes sense um because this is just all odds and ends and whatever whatever um that I made into magic balls um so this is all double knit I've added another one and I will just carry on and see how this goes um I'm thinking of maybe just having this as a lap blanket for the winter we have quite a few blankets um so Ian has a blanket that I made the beginning of the year uh the big red and white DC blanket I have um my blanket that I made at the beginning of the year as well with the nine squares of the multicolored yarn and I edged everything with black um, I have a Sophie's Universe blanket that normally goes on the bed um, we never really use it <laughs> uh, but it just goes on the bed uh, we have a temperature blanket which is humongous it goes from one end of our sofa all the way to the other I don't know how well you're gonna see the sofa because of the light but that's humongous and I think I have another blanket up there somewhere but I do because actually I do have another blanket up there because I used to get the magazine weekly fortnightly magazine of the art of knitting and every issue you got yarn to make a square there was 90 issues 90 squares you sewed them together made a blanket and I did that so that's up in the loft as well we don't need any more blankets. <laughs> um, my sister definitely don't need any more blankets. She has so many. The boys love a blanket. She loves a blanket. But she has so many that I just, I don't think she needs any more. 
so I don't know I might rotate my blankets so one year I'll get out two blankets of or maybe three blankets and then another year I'll use a three another three different blankets and I don't know <laughs> uh, but I might just put one on my bed as well so that is that um, the next thing that I've got to show is um, what I have bought from um, Purple Linda so I have ordered I don't know whether this is the cheapest way to order yarn or anything like that but I have ordered seven skeins of undyed yarn so there's seven here that I can play with um, they were quite cheap and um, I ordered seven because you have to spend £30 to get free postage so that's what I did <laughs> so I spent over £30 and got free postage and I got seven skeins um, so I'm really really looking forward to dyeing up some more um, if anyone has any suggestions on where I can buy hand dyed yarn that is not extortionate amount of price because I've been on Etsy I've been on eBay and I've been on some of the websites online that just sell like bare yarn they call it it's so expensive I don't know how some people sort of sell yarn for like eight twelve pound a skein because it's nearly that price to buy it bare and then you have to dye it <laughs> it just seems like it's a crazy amount of money um just for some yarn that has been spun up um so this is the um the sock yarn the the forehand dyed it says it's four ply sock yarn and it's 75 25 um yeah so it's just the same the yarn that i've used for my socks and hand iron before um so i'm looking forward to doing a little bit of a little bit more of um dyeing and seeing how skeins come out I, sorry for the rustling <laughs> i have got two more skeins that i have dyed that i want to possibly use is it two more must be must be two more I can't see it anyway I've got a couple of more that I want to use that I've dyed up to see especially the blue one I want to see if it stripes up and I want to possibly dye some yarn for um, Halloween like October because I haven't got anything for October yet um, I was thinking of just using a commercial yarn um, but I've got the ability to dye some really nice colours maybe orange green and black or like dark grey or something so for Halloween so that's exciting um yeah that is really everything <laughs> I haven't really got anything else to say I've been working on advent so that's taken up some of my time as well but obviously I can't say too much on here um so I've been making hand making something for the advent calendar i've been putting advent calendars together um i've been doing just bits and pieces uh as for the etsy shop i haven't put any new products in recently uh i just haven't had any new products come in and i haven't had the time to do any designs for new badges or anything uh but that will be coming because i've been looking into or sketching up some some bits and pieces so hopefully new designs will be coming and i'll be able to get those into the shop um but that's that's really about it for today I haven't really got much else to say hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you subscribe give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you've got anything to ask me um come and check out my social media and things like that um but that's about it also i will be um vlogging again so keep your eye out on my channel but I will be vlogging again and that will be very soon I was thinking of picking up the camera today actually today's Thursday the 27th yes and I was thinking of maybe picking up the camera again today um but I might do it Monday or do a mini weekend vlog I don't know <laughs> but there will be a video at some point 
So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.